button. And thank you. And uh, now I must remember to click the correct button. Last time I clicked leave meeting instead of got it and then I had to join all over again. But uh, on that note, good afternoon, everybody, and a warm welcome to our um, Helig Reading Journal Club session this afternoon. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Dr. Lynn Kleinfeld, an academic at uh, CPUT um, and also the chair of um, Helig. And uh, this, this afternoon, um, with me is my colleague Ingrid Thompson, um, a librarian at UCT and also the PRO for Helic National. Um, and uh, we will be facilitating the Reading Journal Club session this afternoon. And uh, I must say that the choice we made for today, um, the article title, Top Trends in Academic Libraries, a Review of Trends and Issues, is quite fitting um, following the update and new developments in South Africa uh, this week, where we no longer need to wear masks and um, the uh, restrictions in terms of uh, capacity indoors and, and so on have been lifted. So um, it's quite fitting to then reflect on these trends and issues and see and have a discussion on um, what does that mean now uh, based on the new developments um, for us and what we need to be thinking about and, and um, in terms of our planning, etc. So I'm going to hand over to um, Ingrid to just uh, uh, brief us a little bit on the um, article, and then we will uh, lead the discussion with the questions that Ingrid already posted in the chat. And um, you would have noticed it was part of the advertisement as well for the session this afternoon. So um, Ingrid, over to you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. And and um yeah. So so regularly, the ACRL put out um the the sort of top trends in academic libraries. And there's been there's been sort of one for each for each um every two or three years they identify the top trends. And and I know that we as 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 academic librarians here yeah, kind of hook on hook on to those 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 trends and 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 compare uh, and see how we are doing and whether in fact those are issues that um are real you know are, are this whether it whether those trends are the same trends that we find um and and i i guess largely they 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 are so when this article came across my my radar I thought, well wow Top trends in academic libraries. This is obviously the new, the the the, the new the update, um, and and obviously um, it 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 piqued my interest to to look to look at to look at to look at this and 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 let's have let's have a discussion around around it. So we've got those questions, but we don't always we don't have to follow the questions religiously. It was just 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 to kind of prod the thoughts and to to give to give some clues to 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 what one can maybe think about as one was reading the article. So the article summarizes the trending topics in academic academic librarianship from the last from the past two years, and we all were hit with the past two years, um, the, the upheaval and change, the global pandemic, um, um, and then obvious, uh, um, and, and obviously, I mean, the war in Ukraine is uh, the war in Ukraine and between Ukraine and Russia. Um, but also, obviously, in the States, there were there were there were other difficult conversations going going on. But Either way, it was rapid changes, and there was lots of uncertainty. And I know that that um, 
I mean, Haley, we've we've had conversations about how you, the libraries are managing during COVID, um, um, what we what we are doing, and and I think we've probably had had maybe about three or four discussions come coming at it from different iter iterations or different diff with different role players. Um, so um, you know, this is this is a really hot topic. But as the article points out, the shifts that have happened um, to academic libraries, higher education and society in general have, have in fact yielded new perspectives and innovations in how we approach delivering services, supporting student successes, managing staff and physical spaces. Um, um, and and that, that's also going to be a bit of a change, I guess, with us now going back um, to, to, I hesitate, and I'll, I'll put the words in, in inverted commas, normal, no, to, to normality. Um, and then obviously embracing new technology and managing data. So this report actually, as they say, attempts to provide a snapshot of developments worth noting. They identified a eight items um, um and, and as i was going through this some of this was was i don't know how relevant to us it some of them are but but that's part of the discussion that we can have so obviously the COVID related trends um, um library staffing challenges space utilization um the one that I had a kind of question mark over, but but um, 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 I mean we can we can dis discuss we can you know but maybe maybe that's just me collaborative collections and growth of shared print, and I I made a little note to myself saying with this one no not really but but the whole question about the ebook SOS and and and. Um, um, the di di you, you know the, the the copies being made available electronically the di you know sort of sort of the online resources and um, what <laughs> was a you know sort of a parent and I'm sorry this is probably my term price gouging and that 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 we've been we've been seeing so perhaps that falls into that bracket the open ac open access the the um spurt of you, you know sort of sort of this, this this the past two years has really given impetus i think to open to the open access movement and then good old artificial intelligence um and i'm sure that lynn will give us a big grin on um, because because i think that is something that that she feels very strongly um is, is close to her is close to her heart um and then obviously things related to data. So it's it's big data, open data, um, data mining, data curation, research data um, that we are 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 are, are it, and that 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 seems to be a trend. It does seem to be a trend. Um, and then um, a term that they said critical librarianship, which is um, they've described as an important theoretical perspective for information professionals, um, that libraries are not neutral. Um, um, and what comes into to that is um, um, critical information literacy. Um, so information literacy playing a real big part in critical librarianship. Um, and um, then the, obviously in the final note there, there were numerous the numerous challenges like like the budgets and the questions about returning to the physical office after an extended period of virtual work um perhaps it's a bit of hybrid um and 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 so so when i read this article I was thinking, yes, it is a topic that needs to be, be discussed. And in fact, if you look at the notes on the on the last page, the list of references, it's all material. And I, I was, was sort of smiling to myself. So there, there's obviously been a lot of literature on this from 220 onwards. I mean, that, that's, that's four pages of, of references. Is it five, six? No, it's more. It's seven pages of of references um, on this for this for this um, on on this on this topic, which which in fact points to a 
heated to 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 just how relevant the topic is. Um, um, yeah. So, um, what can we? What can we? Um, what what can we discuss? Um, what show, show you know comments? Um, and and maybe maybe we should start working through the through the through the questions a little bit. Um, Lynn. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Ingrid, for for providing us with um, um, an overview of the article. Um, and uh, yes, I agree with you. Um, certainly, um, a lot of aspects that we do need to be um, considering now, um, based on our new uh, developments and and um, the way forward. Um, as to, yes, um, being um, back on campus, uh, what are the implications with regards to spaces, and so on. So um, let's start with the first question that um, asks what, what do you, you think? So colleagues, I'm sure you all read the article. Um, in preparation for our discussion today. Um, so what did you think about the overall style of the, of the article? Was it easy to dense? Um, certainly on my side, I, I uh, found it overall quite an, an easy, comfortable read, especially considering the time I uh, read the article um, and uh, I'm not sure whether it's because of uh, uh, specific aspects that uh, are discussed in the article that uh, is uh, very much close to, to my heart. Um, but overall, I found it quite an easy, comfortable uh, read. Uh, well put together. Um, considering the, the number of um, uh, references, um, I do think that um, it, it was um, quite quite comfortable in reading. Any any other comments from from the floor? You may unmute yourselves and 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 share that way. Um, um, we we are a very small number of people, so so it, that that would not be unmanageable. Um, um, I'm not sure if we should should maybe maybe Carol or Lisa Marie might want to say something. Um, sorry, putting you guys on the spot there. Okay, I'll be put on the spot. Can you hear me? I just want to yes, take... yes, okay. please go um, ahead. So I think the style was, uh, it was very easy, um, easy to read, but I, um, and it's also, if you think about it, it's very difficult to summarize trends and issues. This is almost like a, a very shortened, like lit review, lit review style thing. Um, in terms of summarizing, they did a great job. Um, if I I admit I should have read it in more detail and actually checked each reference um, as I read it. Uh, but my PDF, uh, my PDF app was reading it to me, so that was quite an interesting experience. And that it tells me that that was a good article <laughs> because oh. it made sense listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's in, that's an interesting interesting uh, strategy, uh, Lisa Marie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Especially, I, you know, I, I, as much as I'm all uh, for embracing technology, um, I uh, never thought of doing it that way, especially late at night. Just let, let the PDF uh, reader or app read it to me instead of me still um, uh, uh, um, straining my eyes even further late in the evening, you know. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Wonderful. I kind of that kind of ties in ties into ties into to that trend of AI, the artificial yes. intelligence. It does. It does. Um, uh, uh, one one other uh, point um, that I think also we. Um, makes this article very, very easy uh, to read that um, the way it was um, constructed, 
simple English, you know. Um, so I think that also really uh, made made it a, a comfortable read. Um, so I, I always commend um, authors on the simple English used, you know, um, anybody um, could, could follow, understand um, what was being discussed in overall. So I, I think that that also was um, wonderful about um, the way it was constructed. I think they actually, um, uh, Lynn, um, I think they actually refer, oh, sorry, who did I interrupt? Um, no, 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 please go ahead. So I think they actually refer to that in the article, um, I think in the section about open access, where open access really becomes valuable, especially on important topics, mm. when it, they, the abstract is written in a way that is in plain language. I think they call it a something statement. Um, that is when it actually becomes um, important and valuable to lay people and people who might not be as academic which I think that would be a good, a very good trend. Um, I mean, you, you, you retain all the keywords, but you just put it in a way that is um, a plain English language. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because that uh, uh, um, uh, becomes a challenge when um, uh, the scientific research is, is um, not transformed in a way that the layperson could understand what are the um, new developments in in um, in science that uh, is beneficial to the community. So yes, definitely um, a, a good point raised there, Lisa Lisa Marie. I'm not sure was there a hand. I, I heard a people uh, somebody joining. Um, sorry, I'm just Nobody going through. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for for um, con confirming. I'm just checking the the chat. Um, sure. Okay. So Hello. let's. Yes. Oh, sorry. I yes. I also agree yes. that the, the the article was easy to read. It's just sure. that on my side there were there were concepts that I didn't I wasn't understanding. So I would now and then refer, go to the internet and check what this means. Like, mm. for example, critical librarianship. And mm. you'll find that it's something that I know. It's just I didn't know the name, but that's, it's me to blame, not the article, you know. Okay. The article is, is easy to read, yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks, Carol, for, for, um, for your, your input and, and comment. Um, yes, and also it all, um, you know, one thing that I also pick up, of course, this is um, uh, focusing mainly on um, the, the US, uh, if one reads the article and uh, um, the, the various terminologies that are used where we maybe refer to it uh, differently. For example, the shared print, shared print um, relating to interlibrary loans. Um, so uh, that, that too. Um, so thank you for pointing, pointing that out. Um, and I know Ingrid, uh, you know, in interlibrary loans, the whole, the, whole, the whole section that's discussed on um, collaboration, um, sharing, of, sharing of resources, um, also have implications, especially the um, control digital lending. And I was quite um, um, surprised by one of the one of the universities that um, their strategy used if they are lending a digital version, then they actually um, uh, do not. Uh, 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 make the print book available for that time, which to me was quite uh, quite interesting. I'm just wondering whether um, our uh, university libraries um, have a similar practice. 
that's a good question. Is uh, I mean, um, co colleagues who are attending, are you aware of any any libraries practicing the controlled con con the, the the controlled digital lending? Yeah, um, um, and in fact. Um, I mean, are there any sort of shared print programs up here in South Africa, as as described in here in the, in the US, um, um, other than our interlibrary, other than our interlibrary loans? Um, I mean, I can comment comment here. Um, I mean, we, I, I, um, we we were looking at 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 the, at, at getting involved with the Hati Trust. Um, um, and uh, and again on investigation, the um, again it it had to be controlled. Con it was it was controlled digital lending, and it was it was actually quite quite difficult to 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 do. Um, um, I'm not probably not explaining this this too 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 well, um, um, but but. You know, uh, it was it was it was it was difficult to to. It, it was a lot more complicated than than it than it than it 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 turned it turned out. So I think controlled digital lending is very much a US, US based material based based thing. But um, they seem to also be it. It also seems to be attracting legal. The legal ramifications. I mean, part of the, the Internet Archive has been sued by those five by those five um, um, by the by those five big publishers for 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 for, for practicing controlled link, controlled digital lending. But during COVID, that was that was the one way. And I know we certainly used it, and I certainly referred people to the Internet Archive, uh, um, um, where they were looking for material that they could that, that especially when our libraries were closed and they didn't have access. So, um, um, and, you know, sort of thankfully there was the control controlled digital lending, and that 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 in fact you could you could borrow. Let's borrow in inverted commas material from the from 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 the internet archive um, and and sorry Ingrid just to add to to this I I see that um, this this um, uh, section uh, concludes in the article where they where, where the authors um, point out that it remains an open question the legality of control digital lending um, how, uh, the, the, the copyright issues, et cetera. So um, yes, there, there, there's, there's, there's that that we, we, we face, you know. Um, and uh, I'm just thinking, I, I don't know how um, other university libraries are handling this, but um, Based on, on my experience during the, the um, lockdown, the pandemic, um, with regards to interlibrary loan requests, um, I was not able to request a print copy from another um, library, um, so only electronic um, um, resources. So um, I'm just wondering at this point now with the new developments, whether this will at least um, be possible again, um, the interlibrary loans services for print material. Um, my understanding um, is that it is is and, and colleagues from 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 the other institutions. If you can chip in here, my understanding is that it, we are we are back to normal. Um, so so certain so materials can be requested. Print materials can be requested um, from from the from 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 other libraries. I think our interlibrary loan system is is back up and running. Okay, uh, colleague, colleagues, um, um, if you could, conf you know, sort of, if you if you can con confirm confirm that, um, um, I, I certainly certainly am aware that that at UCT we are we are we are doing we are doing it's inverted commas doing in, in interlibrary loans again as 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 it was. 
Um, okay. But obviously, with the e e books, e was e books were never part of the sure. ILL, um, sure. um with sure. licensing with licensing and all the all the rest yes. of it. Yes. I mean, what this um, all did, Ingrid? what this all did was was to raise that whole. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm going hashtag ebook SOS, but worldwide, it 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 pointed it 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 focused attention on um on access to e on 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 the fact that that academic uh, that as institutions we are charged an arm and a leg for or an arm and a leg and sometimes a head and 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 other body parts for a for 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 to access to access the material access material books as 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 ebooks um and um and yeah um it 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 actually just kind of the, the pandemic just kind of focused attention on that and it is a worldwide problem um mm. we we haven't mm. been very vocal here in south africa um, mm. um, and I'm not quite sure why not. We've had mm. certainly had discussions. I mean, within Hillig, we've had we've had a couple of webinars and they sure. should talk about it. But it 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 doesn't seem to be. It, if we haven't got we haven't got activists, kind of as they as they as they have have in the the UK and in Ireland um, mm. in particular mm. raising 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 those those issues. But we mm. we are we are also we have the same. It's the same. It's the same issue. Sure. And what is quite thought provoking um, in this this very paragraph on shared print and collaborative collections is how um, there's an increase in um, um, the, the um, shared print collection. Um, so it could be uh, due to all these, these challenges that uh, academic libraries globally um, have been facing with regards to um electronic books and um and and those challenges that um there is now once again this um uh, increased uh, demand for um the print and and i'm just trying to find that section where um one of the uh, university libraries uh, actually now um uh, maintaining the the print uh, journal collection. And I um, recall not too long ago um, being involved in such a huge uh, journal project of um, um, uh, discarding the print version uh, due to having access to the electronic version where I am now uh, seeing how um, a, 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 libraries are, are holding on to those those print volumes so it's quite thought provoking how we are uh, seeming to be going back and forth uh, between print electronic online digital um, and 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 so on um, so uh, I don't know colleagues what are your thoughts on that um, you know, it's always been a challenge with uh, space and um, print collections. Um, but uh, considering the the ebook challenges, um, are we back to um, building print collections? Is it is it perhaps a, a, a much safer option to to maintain and uh, build and develop the print um, the print I, collection? I, my, in, in, in my head, over these last two years, I mean, our focus has because our libraries have been closed. We've been and and the print materials haven't been available. We've kind of kind of focused on getting material available you know 
as E um, rather than in, in print so that people had, so that our, our patrons and that had access to, to the materials that they did. But of course, it, it's again, you know, I, I just want to go hashtag ebook SOS. Um, um, this is where the publishers, you know, sort of right at the start was saying, I want to go and say, like, oh, shame, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you know, sort of, yeah, aren't, well, aren't we, aren't we great here? Yeah, we're going to give you free access to these journals and to, the, and to, and to materials, online materials. And then, of course, at UCT, because we'd had the fire, um, there was, there were also um, a whole lot of more offers. Um, um, but in retrospect, in, you, you know, in, in, I, I, I don't know. I mean, there is the people are probably so used to now. There is this expectation that we can get everything as e. I mean, all books as as e. Um, but we know we know we know as librarians that 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 the print copy may may cost twenty US dollars. Um, um, the e for an individual may cost twenty US dollars. But the moment that 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 they see the see the um, that the moment that the publishers or the providers see the see an institution come in, it's like two hundred US dollars for one person to 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 be able to access the material. Um, um, yeah, um, I mean, I think I think I think COVID and 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 I I, I think this that is one of the the the, the trends that 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 is international that we would be fine we you know find right across the right across the board it's not just a us based um or south african based or uk based um um issue i'm probably not explaining this very well but 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 yeah um it's the it's that it's that it's that challenge um, um i think i think this i think these last two years um that is a that, that has 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 lifted the rock about a lot of these a lot of the, a lot of these things around around e and licensing and and that's that sort of thing and i don't think it's 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 a rock that's going to be able to go back and, and cover the cover the hojas again um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah um what what do you, what do, what do the others what do the others think I'm I'm just uh, also quickly checking our our questions and uh, and uh, um, uh, we'd like to hear from colleagues what what else did you find um, surprising about uh, the facts presented in in the article um, we've we've uh, been discuss discussing quite a bit now on the. Um, collection, collaboration, um, sharing of resources, but uh, uh, we'd like to hear from colleagues in in the room. Um, what what was surprising for you? Uh, what stood out for you in 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 the article? Um, just looking at the, the artificial intelligence um, uh, aspects and um, I, I'm quite, uh, um, you know, uh, interested in the, how the artificial intelligence um, technologies are, are being integrated. As we know, um, it's been embedded in in, in our discovery tools, um, databases for quite some time. Um, and uh, um, libraries are, are um, using um, AI enabled chatbots also that is coming up as, as um, a trend these days. But uh, I was uh, drawn to the, the this, my uh, attention was drawn to the um, AI powered tool, um, PaperPal pre-flight. 
um, and uh, it's it's aimed at improving the scholarly publishing experience for researchers, peer reviewers, and journal editors uh, during the manuscript submission process. I found that actually um, quite interesting um, and uh, wanting to uh, explore explore that a little bit. And I see um, uh, Yale's Digital Humanities Lab also using um, AI in data mining techniques, data being uh, still a very hot topic and especially um, in libraries and, and uh, handling big data and, and all of that. Um, quite um, interesting to see um, how, how libraries are, are looking at ways of, of um, embracing artificial intelligence in the operations. Um, and uh, of course, uh, we cannot ignore the data ethics. I mean, that came up um, in, in, in the section as well. Um, so that, that actually um, is also um, an interesting, interesting part. And on this, I just, um, uh, it is just um, taking me to the upcoming um, IFLA. I knew I was I was was going to say to the, you the upcoming IFLA conference again. and uh, yes and satellite conference is taking place colleagues I'm not sure whether any of you will be participating or uh, able to attend but there's a library carpentries um, workshop and it's a joint uh, joint library and science uh, technology committee and the IT section committee uh, running the library carpentries. Very interesting workshop, two day workshop um, taking place um, in Ireland. And uh, it's unfortunately clashing with the, with the artificial intelligence satellite where I'll be participating in. So I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> disappointed that I'm, I'm unable to to attend uh, the library carpentries, but uh, just looking at the program, uh, one can see how important uh, um, it's becoming uh, for us to manage the data generated within um, the libraries. And um, um, it's, it's really uh, this, this uh, technologies that the libraries are, are starting to use in terms of data mining would possibly be um, an, a, an option to consider in terms of um, uh, uh, managing managing big data, um, that uh, AI's got that potential to um, support um, the day-to-day -day operations and um, and and services um, to uh, complement what uh, we are currently. Um, doing so definitely um, interesting, interesting um, aspects that's that's been highlighted here as to um, handling data and um, using using AI. Um, so yes, colleagues, any any further comments on? on those aspects or anything else that stood out for you in, in the article? I want to just maybe, maybe, maybe sort of talk, just, just say something about the space utilization um, um, aspect, sure. which, which I was, I was, I was quite, I was quite intrigued um, that, that one of the one of the, the comments was that key trends in library design continue to be reassessed and may help inform librarians in the near future and they 
quote a given example of a study from the University of Nebraska Lincoln that argues that recent trends in library space have overcommitted to collaborative learning spaces at the cost of providing valued space for intensive academic work. And I wondered what colleagues thought of that. Um, um, I mean, you know, sort of there's this big focus on making collaborative spaces available. In, I mean, that, that, is, that is the big trend. Um, but um, how, uh, I mean, there's a comment here that, that another study show, showed that pre-COVID collaboration spaces, um, how, collabor uh, that, that collaboration spaces were intended for multiple people are frequently being used by single individuals. So, so how, how um, you know, sort of does anyone have any kind of thoughts about that? Um, 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 I mean, it's, 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 you know, is it time to have a, a sort of rethink um, some collaborative spaces, but but to focus more on giving giving individual spaces. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, that seems to be, and I, and it's an interesting trend that they've that they've that they've that, that that's been identified around 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 space. Um, 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 so I'm 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 I'm. I'm quite I'm quite intrigued hmm. comments hmm. from um, guys and yeah yeah interesting indeed um, that also caught my attention um, colleagues uh, that the collaborative spaces I'm just thinking um, uh, back to my days in in the library as a faculty librarian and uh, how and this of course pre-COVID um, uh, the collaborative spaces were quite uh, in demand. Um, and uh, uh, the, the question now in my mind is um, this uh, observation, whether it is um, uh, due to COVID that uh, um, one find individuals occupying these spaces or because of course I'm sure um, most libraries accommodate um, um, individual workspaces, study spaces, uh, and also collaborative spaces. Uh, Lisa Marie, please go ahead. I see your hand is raised. Let me just unmute. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was interesting uh, to note that there, there is still some need, like from a ground level observation, um, I'm unfortunately no longer working in that library, but they, it seems like there was a need for students to watch lectures, online lectures together in the mm. library. And um, which is interesting, unfortunately, our library at that stage, um, that it does not have collaborative space in terms of just for noise and sound reasons. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still interesting that there is a need for that. And it's maybe the, the learning styles, different learning styles also um, that need to be accommodated in a way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Um, that's, that's quite, quite interesting. Um, we just um, this week, uh, arrange tutorial sessions, face-to-face -face tutorial sessions for our um, practical um, students. Um, and uh, some of the feedback I received uh, was uh, really um, encouraging that uh, students really enjoy uh, being in a classroom, in a lab, computer lab, but that they had that opportunity to um, interact with um, one another um, compared to how they started out everything um, um, online, um, uh, studying remotely. Um, so we'll see now how, how things go. Definitely we've um, uh, um, been uh, requested by uh, the, the class to arrange um, more sessions, face-to-face -face tutorial sessions, um, they, they, they found that to be uh, useful. So um, let's see the way forward. Um, 
how how we would need to um, again uh, think about um, our users and um, their needs um, going forward. Mm, yes, I I I I think so. I think think this this um, um, this 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 top trends. This this article can be added to 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 the other articles or the other lists of 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 top trends to see how how things are and maybe from written. I, and I don't know where this, you know, sort of where this could, where this could 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 work. But maybe we 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 need to identify our own top trends, which would be which would be very much related to 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 this. But to put a sort of South African South flavor African to it. flavor to it. Um, yes. Um, 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 and and that 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 I mean I think would be something for for future for future research. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure how um 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 uh, uh, Chelsea would be Chel you, you know whether Chelsea is doing some of this work. I don't know if there's anyone mm. here who has kind of any insight into that. If Chelsea is 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 has any documentation along 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 this line. Or whether it's something that that perhaps as a crowdsource, um, we 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 do we we do as a crowd a crowdsource to say well these are the um, um, these are the trends. Uh, uh, yeah, Miss Marie's right. We've been in survival mode, and I think survival mode. Um, I mean, survival just because all the restrictions have been lifted, survival mm. we will the we'll still we're still in survival mode it's not going to be a quick a quick coming out of survival mode because who knows in three months time we could be back to another um mm. to another mm. <laughs> an, another wave who, who knows we it, these days we 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 just we just don't know what next um so definitely um still um still survival mode uh, taking it one step at a time doing the best we can um in in the moment um so yes um we we haven't touched yet on um the the open access um uh, aspects that that were discussed uh, in the article but uh, uh, one thing that um caught my attention was uh, at this point with uh, such a lot that has been going on in the open access movement that um, it was uh, noted the lack of um, open access policies. Um, so so that that caught my my attention and I guess it's that that constant um, a battle um, with um, open access publishing um, options, um, the stigma still out there, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, yet it was, yet it was quite useful during the pandemic uh, with regards to the um, the medical um, information um, that that could be accessed um, openly, um, that was beneficial uh, to the scientists, community, etc. So um, yes, once again. Uh, still open for further debate um the open access uh, movement and developments mm. yeah 
there's a lot to take in with this with this article and i'm sure we can we can probably unpick each of the topics i mean we haven't really touched on covid related trends although mm. that we've had several separate discussions mm. in 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 the in 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 the past um the library staffing challenges um certainly that's come up for discussion um and, sure. and i I mean, I think that is still still very much relevant. That the mm. the, the 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 stress, um, perhaps not in the terms of the description that they have given. Um, um, the article describes as as because uh, this this is this this is probably maybe more peculiar to the states and 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 elsewhere. But um, mm. certainly certainly. Um, library staffing challenges that stress the personal personal um, 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 the personal the you know the personal material the forms of support the well-being that's been uh, the well-being in in the workplace that is certainly a a role that we would be yeah it's it's something that is is very much relevant to us so a slightly different mm. aspect i think for library staffing space use utilization yeah we can have good discussions about that and then uh we've spoken about open everything artificial intelligence the data um i mean it there, there's this a, a lot of it is 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 around big data and and mm. i mean we are seeing this this is, we are seeing this as well, um, 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 you know, sort of the focus on research data management services. And for those who might have joined, I know I, I missed it, um, but but yesterday there was a session um, with the Free State, Free State Helic and Free State IC ICLIG um, 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 group. Um, um, so about data data curation, the kind of specialization um, in in that in that area, and then yes, the critical critical librarianship. So I think hmm. there's really quite a quite quite a lot to to un to unpack and to leave us with food food for thought. Um, absolutely, and to, absolutely. And to go and, and to go and data mine this. Um, uh, talking about data, go and data mine the list of references. And, sure. And to, and to and to to pull things out of there. Um, 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 particularly if we if you are looking for 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 interesting, interesting interesting topics. Um, um, and I'm seeing a couple of things here on the research data management that I need to probably go and go and read um, that are not. <laughs> um, so. I, I, I must say uh, 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 quite a, a, a nice reference list um, indeed uh, to to um, to really um, um, draw some interesting points from. Um, so I I agree. It's it's an article that um, that's got potential for yes unpacking, um, having further informal coffee talks perhaps on um, um, various aspects. Um, so um, yes, definitely very interesting um, top trends in academic libraries um, that that um, that we can uh, definitely um, explore further um, uh, and uh, see um, where we where we head next so on that note I'd like to thank everybody for attending our um, our Hilly Reading Journal Club um, session this afternoon. We have about uh, just about four minutes uh, left before the session ends. So I would like to thank Ingrid um, for um, co-facilitating the, the session uh, with me this, this afternoon. Um, we've definitely um, had an interesting discussion highlighting um, what stood out for us um, we certainly do not have all the, the answers, uh, but together we, um, through conversation, 
um, we can unpack it together. And so certainly this um, session today will lead to many other um, informal talks um, and uh, collaboration on um, going forward. And um, what does this mean for us in South Africa and our academic libraries, uh, where we are now, where are we heading? So thank you. And uh, to our, our national office team, Kahiso and uh, Anna-Marie, thank you once again for um, your uh, support um, in uh, arranging um, and uh, supporting us with the technical aspects today. Uh, much appreciated. So um, thank you, colleagues. Um, please look out for our upcoming HILIG events. Um, we have yeah. next week the collaboration um, session. And then also we end the month with the joint IFLA IT section um, and HILIG uh, session on um, on AI in academic libraries. And this session in particular um, has been arranged leading up to IFLA conference and the, um, the special interest group that has just been um, formed. Uh, um, and this is the, the artificial intelligence special interest group that's um, uh, sponsored by the IT section. So we are having this a joint session that we're hosting on the 30th of June. Um, and uh, we look forward to, to um, seeing you there. So thank you and uh, uh, take care. Have a lovely afternoon and please keep warm and enjoy the weekend. And hopefully you don't have too much load shedding that, 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 that oh. maybe you've got your load shedding happens tomorrow. Um, um, or, 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 you know, sort of that we go back to not stage four, that we go, oh, we go, yes. we, we, we yes. go back to stage one or something, something must, like that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I must say, I'm grateful that, um, that the power has uh, <laughs> kept up until now. I'm scheduled for going off now at two, two o'clock. Uh, so I'm just grateful that at least um, our session uh, ran smoothly uh, from uh, the, the the various uh, areas and 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 uh, you know uh, in order for us to to host it uh, successfully. But yes, let's hope let's hope for the best. But thank you once again, everybody, uh, for your participation. Uh, much appreciated, and uh, we see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, colleagues. Uh, Thank bye. you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Oh, bye. bye. Okay, Kahisa, you can stop the recording. <laughs> Thank you.